Black holes are at the center of galaxies, and those are typically gargantuan black holes, millions or billions of times the mass of the Sun. Throughout the years, physicists have depended on a combination of theories, such as quantum theory, general relativity, and the standard models mechanics, to discover the mysteries of our universe. These theories have effectively explained cosmic phenomena, shedding light on the behavior of celestial bodies and the intricate nature of particles at the smallest scales. Devoid of these theories leading us there, numerous questions in the universe would have remained unanswered. But what if we had been mistaken this entire time? Brian Greene has finally broken his silence and said that all modern theories are wrong and that we're living inside a black hole. Join us as we decipher what Brian Greene was discussing. Approximately 0.4 billion years ago, objects rotating around each other at near the speed of light slammed into each other, causing a tsunami in the fabric of space. How this discovery was made could possibly change everything we've ever known about our reality. Few voices in the theoretical physics field carry the same weight as Brian Greene's. No one can deny his exceptional contributions, specifically in the realm of string theory. His depth of comprehension, clarity of thought, and ability to communicate intricate ideas to both experts and the general public have made him widely recognized as a leading authority in the scientific community. Green's knowledge extends far beyond his incredible research achievements. Through his books and lectures, he has an extraordinary talent for unraveling the mysteries of the universe. His best-selling works, like The Elegant Universe and The Fabric of the Cosmos, successfully bridge the esoteric world of theoretical physics with the curiosity of the wider public. His unique ability to distill complex ideas into accessible narratives has enabled a large number of people to engage with extensive scientific concepts. In this way, he has also played a role in the development of the scientific community as a whole. Green's education and professional experience further solidify his influential position. As a professor of physics and mathematics at Columbia University, he has mentored and inspired countless aspiring physicists, encouraging a new generation of scientists. His contributions to research in string theory, a system designed to unify nature's fundamental forces, have advanced the field and earned him widespread recognition among experts and peers worldwide. So, when a man like this speaks, the world listens. And now, he has declared that all of the modern theories we have long considered the foundation of our understanding are wrong. We're not just inside our solar system, we're inside a black hole. Everything we've known about our reality is false. But how could that be? Could modern theories really be this wrong? The concept that our universe may exist inside a black hole has actually been studied by scientists for some time. Over the years, numerous theories and ideas have emerged to propose how our universe could be connected to or even have originated from black holes. One idea, put forth by some physicists, is that every black hole could potentially give rise to a new universe. This notion is based on the concept of torsion, which suggests that inside every black hole, a new universe is developed. From this perspective, black holes open up the cosmos, resulting in the creation of new universes. Another concept suggests that our observable universe exists inside a black hole that is itself part of a larger parent universe or multiverse. In this viewpoint, black holes serve as gateways to other regions or dimensions of space-time, encompassing multiple universes or realities. The singularity, a black hole's infinitely dense core, could also be a potential source for the birth of new universes. Some experts suggest that the singularity within each black hole could have resulted in our own universe. This idea draws parallels between the initial state of our universe, commonly referred to as a singularity, and black hole singularities. Another fascinating theory is that our universe originated from a black hole contained within another universe. According to this theory, when a black hole forms from the collapse of a dying star, a parallel universe is simultaneously born through a white hole situated on the opposite side of a hypothetical wormhole. This idea connects the formation of black holes to the creation of new universes. But that's just the beginning. Some theories actually propose that our universe exists inside a higher dimensional black hole. This perspective suggests that the universe started as a singularity, a point of infinite temperature and density, similar to the way modern physics describes the most defining aspects of dark matter. According to this idea, our universe could be trapped within the event horizon of a four-dimensional black hole. If this were true, we wouldn't even be able to tell that we're inside a black hole, no matter how hard we try. But this theory contradicts everything we know about how our universe works. 
modern physics encompasses a range of theories that aim to explain the universe's fundamental nature, from its largest structures to its smallest constituents. These hypotheses have been constructed through rigorous scientific investigations and have provided remarkable insights into the workings of the cosmos. At the heart of modern physics lies the framework of quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of particles at atomic and subatomic scales. It introduced a departure from classical physics, which was based on strict regulations and exact measurements, by uncovering the nature of the microscopic world. One of the key concepts in quantum mechanics is wave-particle duality, which demonstrates that particles like electrons or photons can exhibit both wave-like and particle-like properties. Another fundamental principle is superposition. Based on this, fundamental particles can exist in multiple states at the same time, a phenomenon not observed in classical physics. For example, an electron can be in a superposition of spin-up and spin-down states, meaning it exists in both states simultaneously until a measurement collapses the wave function into a definite state. Quantum mechanics has revolutionized our understanding of the microscopic world, paving the way for technological advancements like nuclear power and lasers. So, when you consider it, quantum mechanics explains the world as we know it, from a microscopic perspective. It provides the foundation for understanding the building blocks of life. Ever since these discoveries, we have known that everything functions in a particular way, the way it is supposed to. But there are numerous other theories that have always explained the nature of our world and how the universe operates. General relativity describes gravity as the curvature of space-time caused by matter and energy. It provides a mathematical framework for understanding the behavior of massive objects, including stars, planets, and galaxies. The theory successfully explains a variety of phenomena, such as the precession of Mercury's orbit, the gravitational lensing of light, and the expansion of the universe. However, even general relativity breaks down under extreme conditions, such as those at the center of black holes or during the early moments of the Big Bang. This suggests the need for a more complete theory of gravity. The standard model of particle physics takes things even further. This highly effective theory provides a comprehensive framework for understanding the fundamental particles and forces that make up the universe. Despite its successes, the standard model has its limitations. One significant limitation is its inability to account for dark matter and dark energy, which are believed to make up a significant portion of the universe. Dark matter does not interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation but is inferred from its gravitational effects. Dark energy, on the other hand, is postulated to explain the accelerating expansion of the universe. Understanding the nature of dark matter and dark energy remains an active field of scientific research, and they are also fundamental components of black holes. However, the challenges arise when attempting to unify these theories. The biggest challenge in modern physics is unifying general relativity and quantum mechanics into a single, all-encompassing theory. This has led to the pursuit of a theory of everything, a framework that could reconcile the fundamental forces of nature. General relativity describes gravity on large cosmic scales, explaining the motion of planets, the warping of space-time, and the expansion of the universe. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, governs the behavior of subatomic particles, defining how atoms and fundamental forces interact at the smallest scales. However, these two theories are fundamentally incompatible. In extreme conditions, such as the singularity at the heart of a black hole or the moment of the Big Bang, general relativity predicts infinite density and curvature of spacetime, but quantum mechanics breaks down under such conditions. This conflict has led physicists to explore various approaches to unify these theories, with string theory and loop quantum gravity being among the most prominent candidates. String theory. A possible solution? String theory proposes that fundamental particles are not point-like but instead tiny, vibrating strings. The different modes of vibration of these strings correspond to different particles, including those responsible for gravity, such as the hypothetical graviton. One of the most intriguing aspects of string theory is that it requires extra dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. Some versions of the theory suggest that our universe is a three-dimensional brain, floating in a higher dimensional space. This has led some physicists to speculate that black holes could be portals to other dimensions or even separate universes within a larger multiverse. If string theory is correct, then the black holes we observe in our universe might be connected to something far more complex than we currently understand. Are we living inside a black hole? Brian Greene's assertion that we are living inside a black hole is a radical idea. 
but it is not entirely without precedent in scientific thought. The idea that our universe could be the interior of a black hole has been explored by some physicists, particularly in relation to holography and the nature of event horizons. The holographic principle suggests that all the information contained within a volume of space could be encoded on its boundary, just as a hologram contains three-dimensional information on a two-dimensional surface. Some theorists propose that our universe itself could be a hologram projected from the event horizon of a higher-dimensional black hole. If this were true, then what we perceive as reality might actually be the interior of a black hole within a larger, higher-dimensional cosmos. What does this mean for physics? If Green's claims hold any weight, it would mean that much of what we currently believe about the universe would need to be reconsidered. The fundamental laws of physics as we know them, gravity, quantum mechanics, the standard model, might only be approximations of a deeper reality. It would also suggest that the origins of our universe might not lie in a traditional Big Bang singularity, but rather in the collapse of a massive star or a higher dimensional process that we do not yet fully understand. The Future of Theoretical Physics as groundbreaking as these ideas are, they remain speculative. Theoretical physics thrives on challenging established ideas, and many radical proposals have emerged over the years, some of which have been validated by experimental evidence, while others have faded into obscurity. For now, the notion that we are living inside a black hole remains a fascinating hypothesis, but one that requires further exploration and evidence. Whether or not Brian Greene's statement will lead to a paradigm shift in physics remains to be seen. However, one thing is certain, our understanding of the universe is far from complete, and the mysteries of black holes may hold the key to the next great revolution in science. Gravitational force, in conjunction with the other fundamental forces, is absent from the standard model. Instead of a description of gravity provided by general relativity, it is described by a distinct theory. So, perhaps Brian Greene does have a point, as demonstrated by his expertise. He investigates the fundamental properties of the universe in search of a unified theory that encompasses all forces and particles within a single framework. One of Green's significant contributions is his work on mirror symmetry, a concept within superstring theory. Mirror symmetry establishes a profound connection between two Calabi-Yau manifolds that appear to be distinct, higher-dimensional geometric spaces. This discovery revolutionized the comprehension of string theory by revealing unexpected relationships between mathematical concepts that seemed separate but ultimately described the same universe. These subtle differences contribute to Green's theory. Perhaps the variations, minor as they may seem, could add up to something significant, maybe even leading us to discover that we are not merely floating through space. What if we have been inside a black hole this entire time? Observe how ideas escalate here, it's fascinating. There's a reason why black holes are a major topic in science. This subject grows in importance and mystery the more you learn about it. Based on current theories, a black hole is a region of space-time where gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. This extreme gravitational force results from an immense concentration of mass within a compact volume, causing space and time to become highly distorted in its surroundings. Black holes have astonishing properties that set them apart from all other known objects in the universe. One of their defining features is their extraordinary density. Their mass is concentrated into an incredibly small region, producing an immensely powerful gravitational field. This force is so strong that even particles moving at the speed of light cannot escape, leading to the formation of an event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing can return. Despite their immense gravitational pull, black holes have only three fundamental properties mass, charge, and spin. Mass is the primary factor that defines a black hole's gravitational influence. Spin, which describes an object's rotation, also plays a key role. Black holes don't just spin in a straightforward way, their angular momentum influences their behavior significantly. Even the smallest differences in angular momentum can alter the nature of a black hole. Theoretical physicists have developed several models to describe different types of black holes. The most common variety is the stellar mass black hole, which forms from the gravitational collapse of massive stars at the end of their life cycle. The mass of a stellar black hole typically ranges from a few times that of our Sun to around three times greater. Its formation is a cataclysmic event in which a dying star's core collapses under its own gravitational force, creating a compact object with intense gravity. Beyond stellar mass black holes, other types exist in theory, including supermassive black holes and primordial black holes. Supermassive black holes are believed to reside at the centers of most galaxies, 
including our Milky Way. They contain millions or even billions of times the sun's mass, but the exact mechanisms behind their formation remain a subject of ongoing research. On the other hand, primordial black holes are hypothetical entities that might have formed shortly after the Big Bang. They would have originated from early fluctuations in the universe and could range in mass from tiny to supermassive. Despite the difficulty in studying these objects, researchers actively investigate every type of black hole. Astronomers use various techniques to locate and study black holes. One approach involves detecting the gravitational influence of black holes on surrounding matter. By observing how stars move, astronomers can identify regions where gravity is exceptionally strong. For example, at the center of our Milky Way, astronomers have observed stars orbiting a seemingly empty space, suggesting the presence of a supermassive black hole. Another method involves studying the accretion disk, a structure of gas and dust spiraling toward a black hole. The intense gravitational forces generate heat, causing the disk to emit radiation across different wavelengths, including X-rays. This radiation provides valuable insights into the properties and behavior of black holes. In some cases, astronomers can even directly detect the bright emissions produced as matter accelerates toward a black hole, heating up and emitting high-energy radiation. Not all black hole studies are direct. The motions of nearby stars provide another way to detect black holes. Researchers analyze the precise movements of stars near suspected black holes, identifying irregular patterns or deviations that indicate the presence of a massive object. These observations help determine the mass and location of black holes, enhancing our understanding of their gravitational influence. The discovery of gravitational waves has opened a new avenue for studying black holes. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time produced when massive objects accelerate. When two black holes merge, they generate powerful gravitational waves that can be detected by observatories such as LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. These detections provide direct evidence of black hole collisions and offer insights into their masses and distances. Advancements in technology have revolutionized black hole research. Today, scientists use innovative methods to detect active black holes in distant galaxies. For instance, Australian astronomers have developed algorithms to simulate emissions from black holes at different wavelengths, helping identify active black holes and understand their prevalence and characteristics. After discovering black holes, scientists continue to study them in depth. By observing the motion of stars and gas near a black hole, researchers gain insights into its mass and gravitational effects. One technique, reverberation mapping, measures time delays in emissions from different locations near a black hole. By analyzing these delays, astronomers can map the orbits of photons and gas, revealing the dynamics of the accretion disk and the interplay between matter and radiation. One of the most groundbreaking advancements in black hole research is the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, a global network of radio telescopes that work together to create an Earth-sized virtual telescope. This network successfully captured the first direct image of a black hole at the center of Messier 87, M87, offering visual evidence of a black hole's existence. Despite previous theoretical knowledge, seeing a black hole for the first time was a groundbreaking moment in science. But what if our understanding of black holes goes even further? This is where Brian Greene's thought-provoking hypothesis comes in. He suggests that our entire universe might exist within a black hole. This claim arises from the interplay between general relativity and quantum mechanics. According to Greene's reasoning, if we apply Einstein's theory of gravity, general relativity, to the entire cosmos, intriguing possibilities emerge. Black holes are known for their extreme gravitational effects, which distorts space and time. Inside a black hole's event horizon, space-time becomes incredibly curved, producing fascinating effects. Green proposes that if our universe were inside a black hole, its gravitational properties could explain cosmic expansion and structure. The universe's expansion might be a consequence of matter falling into a black hole from an external region. The gravitational collapse of this matter could account for the formation of galaxies, stars, and other celestial structures, the very objects we have studied for decades. 